Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to Brighton Hope Albion versus Manchester United in the Premier League, the final Premier League game of the season at the Amex Stadium, where Manchester United's record is so poor. This is the starting lineup I'll go in. In goal, Mr. Banana, Andre Nana, right back. Be interesting to see who plays right back because last time it was Amwan Bissaka playing in his usual position. So I expect him to play right back again as this looks like it's going to be his final game in the Premier League for Manchester United. Then centre backs Casemiro, Johnny Evans, Diego Delo, left back, centre defence midfield, probably be. Amrabat or Scott McTomney. Then in the midfield, Maynu, the captain, number eight. Right wing, added Diallo. Left wing, Ganacho. Then Rasas Hoyland up front. So yes, that's the lineup I believe it's going to be. Now, Manchester United, obviously, there's still a chance they could get into the Europa League spot, but at the moment, it's out of their hands because despite winning the other night, they are still in eighth position, which means we're not even in the Conference League spot. So we're not even in the European position at all, Manchester United. It's absolutely abysmal, honestly. This has been one of the worst Premier League seasons ever, if not ever. And on Monday nights, when I do a live video, an emergency meeting, we will be going through all the Premier League results from this season. And I tell you what, I am absolutely going to rip into these players and the manager as well. But I bet you could win an FA Cup, Mr. Joshy J. You won a trophy last season. So why do you have an agenda against the same manager? It's because we've been absolutely horrific this season. Any Manchester United fans who are happy with this season, oh my goodness me. Seriously, talk to a football professional or something. That they will tell you straight that it's seen an unacceptable season. Nowhere near to the standards of Manchester United Football Club. As it stands in the moment, we are on course to finish in 8th position. And obviously this weekend we are against the fraudulent Wolverine. Roberto De Zerbi. Now, when I phoned in to say the team he show, I said I did not want the fraudulent Wolverine anywhere near my football club. But a lot of fans actually want the fraudulent Wolverine, which I have no idea why, because to me, he's not ready to step it up and manage a big team just yet. So to me, it's a big no-no. But, uh, but who do you want then, Mr. Joshy J? You sack the ball's rules. There's hardly anyone available. There's plenty of managers available, right? Yeah, there's so many available. Go and get me an elite manager. One who knows the foundations of Manchester United. But, but are you in the FA Cup, Mr. Joshy J? You'd have to back the ball's rules. No, I wouldn't because, you know... What happens if next season gets worse? It could get even more peak, right? Let's have it right here, yeah? Let's have it right. It's like, if it gets more peak, then I tell you what, this manager is getting sacked in about September or October time if he stays on next season. Mark my words. But I bet you're rolling him out already, Mr. Joshy J. Oh, get in the bin, yeah? Seriously, get in the bin. My standards are up to here, instead of being down here, on the floor. Let's get that right, yeah? It's absolutely ridiculous how the amount of fans are still defending this manager. He's literally our worst manager ever. But yeah, he could still win the trophy, so I say that's a nice way. If he wins the FA Cup, then bin him off. At least he gets given a good send-off, yeah? And I will say fair play. Right, you've won us two trophies in two seasons. Now, move on and let's bring someone else in. But, but, but you'd have to back him, Mr. Joshy J. Why should I back him? Because literally, he's fallen out with so many players. The football has been trashed this season. But, but, but 
is the injury to Esther Joshi J? Again, the excuses, man. What I heard fans say all season and the balls ruled as well is absolutely jarring, man. Join me on Saturday for a match reaction, Sunday evening for an emergency meeting, Monday player ratings, then on Monday night emergency meeting where we look through the whole the Premier League season and go through the results and everything. I tell you what, there's going to be some very damning assessments how I think this season's gone. So stay tuned for that. That'd be something for you guys to look forward to. If you like my content, great. If not, then I'm not bothered one bit. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.